Hey guys, today I am going to be sharing my January wrap up with you. So all the books that I read during the month of January, what I thought about them, a little mini review, and then a lot of these do have full reviews already. So I will leave those linked below to where you can find them if you want my full review. The first one that I read during the month of January, okay, not the first, but the one that I'm going to talk about first, is a poetry collection called Salt by Nahira Wahid. This one just didn't do it for me. I was really expecting a little bit more from it. I actually felt like I was being like yelled at, it felt angry, and I just wasn't 100% sold on it. So I ended up giving this three stars. Obviously, as you can tell by the little tabs here, I did enjoy quite a few of them, but not the whole book as like a collection, and so I just struggled a little bit with this one. So again, this has a full review. It's linked below if you want more. The next book I have for you guys is The Marriage Lie by Kimberly Bell, and this one was fantastic. It literally grabbed me. The first chapter was like this cute little romance. I was like, oh, so sweet. Second one flipped 180, like what the heck is happening? Completely sucked in for the remainder of the book, and I like read through this in just a couple days. It was just so fantastic. It's about a lady. Her name is Iris. Her husband goes missing. He's like presumed to be on this plane that crashed, even though it was headed to Seattle and he was supposed to be in Orlando. So definitely all these secrets, all these lies, everything starts to get unraveled and Iris is just trying to deal with it and it, there's a bunch of like holy crap twists. So this is such a fantastic thriller and I will definitely be reading more from Kimberly Bell. I just really enjoy this. Again, full review for this linked below. And because I think I forgot to tell you guys, but if you guys couldn't get it by my like raving little mini review there, this is a five star for sure. Probably also my favorite read so far of the year. The next book that I am going to do a little mini review on is On Second Thought by Kristen Higgins. This just got released on January 31st. It is a pretty fantastic little romance. So if you guys are interested in romance, this one's totally for you. The first hundred pages or so were very slow, however, but once you got past that, it just picked up. It constantly went, 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 and I was just turning the pages, and holy moly. There are not one, but two really great um, romances in this as well, and it was exactly what I wanted to happen and exactly what I, like, predicted would happen, and yeah, I wasn't disappointed. I was totally like, yes, like, couldn't wait. So this was pretty fantastic. I ended up giving it four stars. I do have a full review for this one as well, so check out below. The next one, I also gave this, I think, a three star, and it is The Curated Closet by Anishka Reese. This is just a lot about how to curate and detox and build your style, and I think it is so in-depth. It's a little bit daunting. There's just a ton of information, a ton of like homework assignment kind of things, and it is extremely helpful, but I broke this down over like four months because it was just so much to take in. But this is part of the reason I have switched to a capsule wardrobe, and I have a small playlist of videos so far. It's constantly being like added to and built as I get further into this, and it will be linked below in case you want to check out that what it is, how to detox, how to start one, and just a little glimpse into what my fall capsule looked like. So I'm currently on my second one and I'm loving it. So it's in large part to this and a blog called In Fancy. But this was, like I said, super helpful, a really great resource if it's something that you're looking into. Okay, so I just checked and I lied. It's a four star because of all the helpful stuff and it's just a little daunting at times though. So just be, you know, prepared for that. The next ones I have are comics or graphic novels, and I'm just going to dive right in and share my thoughts there. The first one is The New Deal by Jonathan Case. I gave this three stars. I was originally intrigued by the cover. I love anything of like that 1950s-ish like Housewife. Loved Lady Killer. If you haven't checked that out, please do. It was so fantastic. So I kind of thought this would be similar to it. It said it was also about like a hotel robbery, and it sounded like inside jobs, and the whole inside is like this really great um, blue, so I don't know if you guys will be able, whoa, probably not in focus there, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, so I'll try to insert a little clip. But the whole thing is in like blue um, drawings and graphics or whatever, and it, you know, I expected a little bit more. It was a really easy read, it was humorous, it was funny. I wish it would have gone on longer and really dived in and just got more information on characters and these heists. So overall, pretty good, just not loud. The next one is Revival Volume 2, and this series is continually just getting better, getting more interesting, really grabbing me, 
And so we did get a little bit more info, which was like my first complaint about the first volume is just they threw you in and didn't really tell you much except for exactly what was happening. And so this one, we start to get more backstory. We start to get to know more about these characters, but there's still so much going on and I still feel a little lost. So I ended up giving this four stars, but again, definitely interesting. It's like a weird take on zombies. So they're basically, these people are dying and coming back, only they're not always super gruesome like a normal zombie and they like retain all their previous like information. They know who they are, they can like go about their daily lives. So it's, like I said, very interesting and just out there and I love it. So I'm gonna continue on. The last one I have for you guys is Saga Volume 2. Again, holy cow, so fantastic. The rave and the hype is totally worth it, 100%. I'm still kicking myself for waiting so long to get into this. But my one issue with these is there's always one little piece in here that's like a shock factor. Like, and I'm, it blows me away every time. I'm like, whoa, like, that's disgusting. No, thank you. Like, totally uncomfortable moment. But I think they do it for the shock value. I'm really starting to think that. And it's just so weird and out there. But the rest of the story and the art is so amazing and beautiful and just it's a gorgeous YA about these like star-crossed lovers who are trying to raise a kid and things just keep getting more intense and again left on another crazy cliffhanger. So this one got five stars. I can't wait for volume three and seriously if you haven't picked this up like please do. Alright you guys so that is everything that I read during the month of January and I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. Um, I was hoping to get one last book in there finished but I didn't quite make it so it's kind of pushed over to this month. I'm almost done with that. And so now I'm going to be sharing a video with you guys, um, the next video anyway, of my February TBR. So I'm definitely looking forward to choosing which books to read, share those with you guys. Hopefully we'll have a couple in common. Maybe we can buddy read or whatever. Um, but yeah, comment below and let me know if you guys have read any of these or if you plan to so we could chat. And I would just love to hear what you guys think. So definitely, you know, comment below and we'll chat. All right, you guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.